Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Sending love from Malibu. The sun is shining. It's very warm. Actually, I had a food delivery. I better go get it soon because I have chocolate in there. <laughs> but I was just feeling all the vibes to come on here and say hi and to address some questions I've been getting from some of you. Um, a few of you are like, how many offers do you have happening? And yes, it's a lot. <laughs> but sometimes you can't help when the force of creation is like flowing through you and it is in service and a dharma that you are sharing with the planet. So that's what's happening. This is the year I feel that I'm like birthing all of my courses and all of, you know, I went around the whole world for years, as many of you know, I traveled the whole entire world from like, I started in med school, actually I started right after college and then I went through all the way until about 2018, 19, 2019, let's say. And that's when I like stayed grounded and COVID and the whole pandemic really helped me to stay in one place. And so all of that energy that I was using to travel the whole world has now shifted into sharing all of the knowledge I've accumulated, all of the gifts I've awakened to, all of the tools and tips and self-care and the personal development journey I've gone on because I'm like so different. Like if you knew me in high school, if you knew me in college, if you knew me in med school, if you knew me after med school, I'm a completely different person and I keep evolving and changing. And so it's been really beautiful to see how the evolution has happened and so many people are like, oh my God, your journey. And I'm like, I know. And I want to share it. It's not only for me. Like, I went on this journey. I'm keeping it all to myself. It's like, no, anyone else want to rise up? Anyone else want to heal and evolve and grow spiritually? And it's like, this is for everyone. And this is the year of the birthing of all the courses, the birthing of all the offers. And, and they'll live forever, but this is the year that it's live. So if you have been wanting, you're kind of curious about my world, I don't really just come on here and like share a lot of things. I really like it to be a sacred space. So it's a space that you're giving me permission because beware, you will transform, beware, your thoughts, everything will change. Like you will be a different person. It's really like a re-education. Um, I feel like I went through a complete re-education after I left medical school and it still continues today. We're forever learning, forever growing, forever evolving. And certain things have really worked. And I'm like, hey, if anyone wants to know about them, like I'm happy to share them with you. So this month I have like so much magic happening. If you haven't noticed, or maybe you have, I also have these healing gifts that awakened and they are in the form of energy healing and light language. And some people don't know what light language is per se, but light language is, I like to say it's the definition of the vocal transmission and translation of energy frequencies. So light language is a form of energy healing, but it's actually vibration and you hear it and it sounds like song or it sounds like other languages and it literally can shift your whole being and frequency and vibration. It literally can change your mind. It can change how you are embodied in your being. And I've been keeping that to myself for a long time and I have been sharing it mainly only with my one-to-one -one clients. And then in 2019, I did include it in my Ultimate Woman program and now I'm being asked by these beautiful energies to share them more, more mainstream. And the, the way I do that is through Ascension Codes. So every month there's an Ascension Code with a different theme. And this month on Wednesday is this month's Ascension Code, which is in Divinity. And how you, and really to awaken that divinity within you even more. You have God potential, God power in you. And let's activate that so you can really create and live your ultimate life. And the other thing is this is the fourth round. I'm launching my meditation course and I've changed the name to, it used to be called the power and practice of meditation, but that was kind of boring. 
or maybe not because like, you know, people did sign up for it, but I decided to shift it to meditation for ultimate living because every meditation technique has a specific function and purpose. And these are all the meditation techniques that I use to be who I am today and to get to where I am today. So I feel like creating that and sharing it once and for all was really important. And I'm super excited to be sharing that with you. That's starting on Friday. I also have my ultimate, well, let's see what else I have. I have so many things. It's like, oh, so many things to share. <laughs> people are like, are you five people? It's like, I'm not five people, but I have five assistants. So I think that helps me to be five people. Um, so the other thing that's really exciting is the masterclass that I'm hosting inside my Ultimate Woman Rise free Facebook group. And it is so fun. It's called Resurrection, Rise of the Feminine Leaders, because it is the feminine leaders that are going to help co-create the new paradigm, which is being asked of us to be created on this planet right now. So I'm, I'm having so much fun. I just shared day two inside that group. So you can just request access and it's for the ladies. Sorry, men, but sometimes women just have to do their work together. Just like I really invite men to show up together and do their healing and transformation work together. And then of course, there's men inside the meditation course and men inside Ascension Codes. But for the women's program, you know, that's just for the women. And no, no bad feelings. It's just that, you know, I'm a woman. So there's certain things I can transmit to women. Of course, women can activate men too, though. So, so of course, I work with men as well, one-to-one -one and such. Um, and I, I'm sure I'll partner with a man to, do, to create a men's course too at one point. Um, We've dabbled in that a little with the ultimate man and so maybe there'll be more of that coming in the future so stay tuned for that and what else did i want to share with you oh yeah and so this week yesterday was the first call for the next ultimate woman group and so that's a three-month program one of my signature programs and the, there's women from all around the world and i'm accepting women through friday so if you have ever wanted to really do deep healing work with me, this is definitely the container and doing it with other women. It's really so, so powerful and definitely more affordable than one-to-one -one work. So I definitely recommend that for the ladies who are wanting a shift in evolution, a rising, an activation. And what else? And then I have my mentorship and mastermind too that started this week, but that's only available if you've gone through the Ultimate Woman program. So I have like so much that I'm offering to the world and I feel energized by it. So I want to share about that too of like, I, I used to get tired sometimes and I think I would get tired when I wasn't doing the thing I was meant to do. And it was my body and my soul being like, no, that's not the way. But even yesterday, like after the, the whole day, like, you know, I, I'm really good about creating um, my days to be really nourishing. And so even if I have calls late, then, you know, for me, seven, seven o'clock is a late call. I don't usually work that late, but then I didn't start my day till like 2 p.m. So I had a massage in the morning and I took a bath and I meditated and I breathed and I danced and I made myself a delicious lunch, which I'm about to do next. And then I'm gonna take a midday break before my evening call with the mentorship group. So it's like I'm holding so much and it feels really good. It feels really like, yes, I'm on track. I'm doing the good work. I'm sharing this love, this light that comes through me in a way that activates others. And so I feel with that, I'm being gifted more energy. And that's how, as to many of your questions, that's how I'm holding so much because I'm simply doing the Dharma and the work I'm here to do. And like I said, I feel like it's also so divinely guided. Like this is the year of the course creations. This is the year of writing certain books and I'm birthing all that. And then soon they'll, you know, they'll be baby making and I'll be birthing babies. So I'm making all of the content now. So then when that time comes, I can commit that chapter of my life to that process. So there's like a season and a lesson and a purpose for every chapter of our life. And I know the future is going to be different, you know, going, I'll be back on TV. I'll be doing different things. So 
now is the, the year and the chapter to really share all of these stores of information I've been holding up here to kind of package it all up and be like, here you go, here's the gift. If you want it, you can have it. <laughs> so I just wanna say I'm in deep gratitude, deep humility that I get to share these gifts with the world, that I get to activate and work with so many beautiful humans who are ready to do the work, who are ready to rise into their ultimate living, their ultimate embodiment, be who they came here to be. It's really, really exciting times. We are creating the new paradigm, and I'm so excited for what we are co-creating together. And with that, I'm Dr. Nikki Starr. I send you so much love, and I thank you for being here on my journey. I know some of you, since the day I ever opened up Facebook, which I was back in college, and so it's just so awesome to see all the cycles of life that we journey through and who we become and how we transform and, and how a part of us is always still the same, you know? Uh, even my hair changed, you know? <laughs> I used to straighten my hair all the time and now it's like, never! <laughs> I feel like they're my spirals of energy that the universe can send me energy through. <laughs> well, it's true, in native lineages, they talk about how your hair is your chi and your power. I truly believe that. So I, I don't cut my hair and I just let it grow and, yeah, and sometimes it's wild, and, but it's a part of me. It's part of my essence. So allowing it to be natural and curly is allowing me to really shine my true essence through. So with that, I send you love. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.